This story now, uh, farmer leader Sarvan Singh Pandir has attacked the Punjab government and he has said that uh, it has been more than 14 hours now but Punjab government is not giving any answer so Shubkaran Singh's body is lying in the hospital. Punjab government is insulting the martyrdom of our martyrs. This is condemnable. They are saying that the site of the incident will have to be investigated whether it is located in Punjab or Haryana. I don't think we will be able to perform the last rites of Shubkaran Singh as of now. The dialogues with the Punjab government are yet to be complete. So this is the reaction that is coming in or from farmer leader Sarvan Singh Pandey. Let's listen in. 12-14 hours, 14-14 hours. The Punjab government is not giving any answer. So Shubkaran Singh, who is the Shaheed Parthak Shareer, is in the hospital. तो ये पंजाब सरकार हमारे शहीदों के शहीदों का जिस तरह से उनकी शहादत का अपमान कर रही है ये बहुत निंदनीय है अब बात इस पर अटकी है वो इस तरह की बातें कर रहे हैं कि जहां पर कल घटना हुई इसकी पड़ताल करनी पड़ेगी कि ये जो जगह थी वो पंजाब या हरियाणा में है बेशक पंजाब सरकार कह रही है भी हमने ऐसा कुछ नहीं किया तो ठीक है अच्छी बात है तो उसकी पुष्टि करें ना ठीक है हमें क्या तो ये अभी मुझे नहीं लगता शुभकरण सिंह का हम लोग दाह संस्कार कर पाएंगे अभी पंजाब सरकार से वार्ता कंप्लीट नहीं हो पा रही है and CNN News 18, Sanchal Singh is now joining us on the story. Anshul, so farmer leader Sarvan Singh claims that uh, they are not able to conduct uh, the last rites of Shubkaran Singh due to uh, Punjab government. Uh, so yes, this is what has been claimed by the farmers. Initially, they were claiming that this killing that has happened or the incident that has happened, it was uh, it happened on the uh, behest of the Haryana police where they opened fire at the, uh, opened fire at the pro protesters. But on the other hand, the Haryana police has gone on record and uh, denied these allegations. They have said that there was no use of any sort of fire uh, on the protesters to control them or to keep them away. Uh, and that is the reason why we uh, still there is no FIR that has been registered in this entire matter because the Punjab government at this point in time is also waiting for the postmortem reports to come in and also the exact place where this incident might have happened that needs to be investigated as to in whose jurisdiction. Uh, does this place uh, come in because this incident happened at the border of Haryana and Punjab. So yes, it is a very technical and tricky situation for the uh, governments as well. On the other hand, the farmer leaders continue to maintain uh, that they will not go ahead and conduct the last rites of the uh, of the victim until and unless uh, the Punjab government gives, uh, gives them a clarity as to what uh, what is their plan of action and how do they mean to go ahead and prosecute uh, the Haryana police who who is who is are deemed responsible for this entire incident. So yes, another another blockade in the in this farmer protest is what we can say. I remember, the Punjab government has already come on record and has supported the demands of the farmers. But over the last few days, uh, there is a slight rift that can be seen between the Punjab government and the uh, and the protesting farmers as well. Yesterday, protesting farmers had claimed uh, that the not letting their food reach the borders, which is a lot of uh, troubles for them. And they had uh, they had made this appeal to the uh, Punjab government to uh, allow their trucks to reach and heavy machineries to reach on the borders. But that that is something that is yet again a point of controversy between the Punjab government and the protesting farmers who are still in Punjab. So yes, it remains to be seen as to how things will eventually po point uh, turn out. But at this point in time, the main focus and the point of interest is the postmortem report of Shukran Singh. Once that postmortem report comes to the fore, then we can expect some action that could be taken by the Punjab government. And once the, uh, uh, and after the postmortem report, it is also expected that the bullet that might be recovered, that bullet will also be sent for FSL testing. And then it would be evidently clear as to who was responsible for the killing of Shukaran Singh. Was it was it from a gun that was uh, was it from a gun that was being used by the security forces, or was it from some other weapon that the protesters might have had as well? So yes, a lot of questions need answering at this point in time but yes we are awaiting for that postmortem report to come in and also uh, today evening we are expecting the farmers to come on record and announce their future course of action as to how do they plan to take this protest forward will they yet again try to march towards the national capital or will they uh, try uh, will they try and take a step forward and find a midway in this entire controversy all right, Anshul, thank you so much for all those details. We'll keep coming back to you for more updates on this. As of now, we're slipping into a very short break. We'll be right back.